We are uh, currently talking to uh, about 25 uh, states with regard to memorandums of understanding. But if the UK government has no qualms in entering into these trade agreements with sub-state actors such as these states and doesn't think that violates the US sovereignty, why would the government oppose the Scottish government entering into its own free trade negotiations? Oh, yeah. Yeah. This, uh, this argument, I'm afraid, is a false one and has also been perpetrated with regard to the Australia deal. The structures and the kinds of regulations and laws we are talking about are not equivalent. In Australia's case, we're not talking about law or EU retained law, we're talking about uh, guidelines that sit at state level. And the MOUs that we are doing with US states obviously are not free trade agreements in terms of tariffs. What they are is talking about our regulation, mutual recognition of qualifications, and all of those things. And we're actually doing partnerships within those MOUs between uh, parts of the UK. Uh, particular locations, which could uh, include uh, the devolved nations. Northern Ireland has such an MOU with other parts of the US, and I'd encourage the Scottish Government to get on board, because there are massive advantages to people in Scotland if they do.